Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Athena. So it's okay. Today I'm going to start off with music. I first heard this song in a commercial for Hugo Boss and Theo James. I love Theo James. He's like super sexy. been loving old songs lately. Me Too by Megan Trainer. Honestly, I thought it was Sierra at first, but like the first like three lines, I'm like. Sonic fit. This is the Radiance head that came on it. It has two settings. It's very easy to use. Number one, I use either in the morning or when I have no makeup on. Setting number two, I use at night or if I have makeup on. Setting number one is 60 seconds. Setting number two is 80 seconds. It does pulse so you know when to move on to the next section of your face. There's just two buttons. It's very simple and straightforward. And I'm really enjoying it. Really easy to wash my face before I used to like not want to. <laughs> Bad, but true. And now because it does all the work for me, it's very easy. I don't put like extra pressure on my face. I literally just like let it vibrate and then I just like move it around everywhere. And it's really great. I'm really happy I purchased it. If you live in Canada and you have a shop or drug mart near you, pick it up at Shop or Drug and not Sephora. The price for this is $1.99 at Shoppers. At Sephora, it is $2.29. Also for skincare, I have been loving this Caudalie Micellar Cleansing Water, Organic Grape Water and Chamomile. This is also natural and it smells good, very soothing and calming on my face. And I have actually really been loving this one from ColourPop. This is the Paradise Co. Super Shock Cheap a Satin. I usually wear matte bronzers. But I actually really like the finish of this. It's really nice. It is like so, so buttery. Like nothing that I've ever felt before. But because of the texture, honestly, I don't find it the most pigmented. Which is honestly okay though in a bronzer. Sometimes you don't need like a really pigmented bronzer. The thing that I don't really like about it though is I definitely feel like I really need to dig a brush in there. And also like this is like totally just me being dramatic. The packaging of this at the top part is the larger part. And then the bottom part is the small part. I honestly find it a little difficult to open it like this just because like the bottom is like so tiny so I just feel like I can't get a good grip on it but when I flip it over to where I'm holding the large part I find it so much easier to remove. Okay next is the NYX Roll-On Shimmer Eyes Face and Body. I've talked about this a few times. I absolutely love this. I love pairing this with a mid-tone brown in the crease it's literally amazing and i love it sometimes i'll just only wear this on my entire eye i wish that the ball was like kind of smaller for like that inner corner area it's in the shade nude okay and then i have the mainly new york instant age rewind this is in the brightener shade this one is my favorite i love this when it first kind of came out when i first bought it then i bought my second one which was in the shade fair and I wasn't in love with it. Once I was running out of my other concealers, I was just like, let me just use it up so I can buy the brightener one again. So I used it up and then I started to kind of fall in love with it again. I need to wear makeup to work 
because I am a beauty advisor so when I don't want to wear makeup which is most of the time I will use BB cream this is the Marcel BB cream light to medium that comes with a pump but there is no stick in this so you actually need to pump this upside down like this and not right side up because nothing will come out on my lazy day for work I will use this BB cream with a powder I will use my ColourPop bronzer I will use my Maybelline age rewind concealer and if I'm feeling a little extra I will put this all over my lid and I'll just be like okay I'm done if I'm feeling a little bit more like a little bit like put a face on I will go for the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Skin. This is in the shade 110 Porcelain. It is a little lighter than my skin tone, but I personally rather go lighter than darker. I used to have 115, which was too dark, and I also have 120, which is like way too dark, but it's more of like a soft tan shade. For the most part, I love this foundation. I think it has a beautiful, healthy matte finish sometimes. The next product that I'm going to show you is a little bit too matte for my liking. It doesn't last as long as I would like it to. The last beauty product is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is in the shade 101 Classic Ivory. This one is definitely more of like a long wearing, oil controlling, more matte kind of foundation. I absolutely love it though. Again, it's one of those things where when you really love a product and then if you use it too much, you kind of fall out of love with it and then you start using something else and when you go back to something, you're like, I freaking love it. That's with me with this foundation and this can say like, Chips! So my favorites have been this Hickory Sticks Original. They're just like a smoky, barbecue-y, meaty flavor. They're literally like... My boyfriend doesn't like these. They, he says that they taste like wood chips, and I'm like, what are you talking about? These are delicious. Chips are just like my comfort food, and I could eat them every single day. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social medias, and I will catch you in my next video. Toodles!